In year seven, um, I was bullied a lot. It like just started like because I didn't like my mum didn't have much money, so we couldn't get like new clothes and stuff. We'd have like all the new makes and that. Oh, bullying made me feel, I don't know, inferior. Like I wasn't important. It's awful, and looking as an outside uh, viewer, it can seem like petty things are happening, and it shouldn't affect the person. I was bullied and. It was cyberbullying, and even though people think it's not a big deal, and I'll just get over it, it, it's really not as easy and as people make it sound. The first part was going home and seeing what all these people said about me. It's not like I could just go home and come back to it tomorrow when I go back to school, but it was my reality. It was, it was my life at one point. It's really, actually, really hard because you can't escape it whatsoever, even if you're not online. You just, it's the only thing you can think about. It's like the idea of someone tapping constantly over and over and over again. The build up of taps makes you want to scream. It really like deteriorated your like confidence in school and you wanted to like disappear from everyone. I just got really, really upset because it's not nice to, to see um, um, I started getting teased and bullied for being camp and not playing football with the guys and then having to hang out with the girls and then getting bullied about that. Like er nearly everybody's bullied but it really does scar you for life. Well to be truthful I went home crying every day because I didn't know what to do about it or how to deal with it. So, and my mum always used to ask me what what was wrong and how I got all the bruises on my legs and all that. So I just told her that I fell over in the playground a lot because I was embarrassed to talk about it. My cousin, he killed himself because he never told no one and his mum was there for him but he just didn't tell him and like, I don't like bullying because of that. I would go home and cry. Like I said, if you already have that tapping in your head and you're already thinking these things, as soon as someone says it and makes it real, it kind of destroys you and you start to think about things that you really shouldn't and I started to like die inside from these comments and start to just crumble and it was awful. Bullying makes you feel like you've got no one to turn to. It makes you feel quite alone. Like, it, like you're in a crowd but no one can hear you. It's, it's like that. It just made you scared about something simple like school. And it was just really worrying every day. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Three boys who followed me on from school and were throwing rocks and just booting my legs as I was walking home. It was mostly about image, they like, call me fat and ugly, and that affected me quite a lot. Sorry. One day they chased me into the toilets and I actually had to lock the door, and even then they were trying to climb in and it was really scary. And this had a really big impact on my diabetes and I had to go into hospital for four days. They made me feel like my life just really wasn't worth living, and sorry. Feeling alone, feeling like you're not good enough for something or good enough for someone, feel like people will be ashamed to see me with you, or feeling so down. And when you start thinking of all the things you could do to end it, it felt like I was a well, I was some sort of planet and this portal had sucked me into this internal darkness realm and now that planet has pulled itself out like I've pulled myself out of this misery and become what I am and obviously getting lots more friends. I think bullies sometimes just don't know that they're actually doing wrong and sometimes you do just need to sit them aside and tell them that's not the right thing to do but people just don't have the courage to do that and I think that's where we need to start picking up the pieces, so to speak. We need to give people courage to stand up and say no.